Hello, my lovely little lichlings. We are back for ah, epic level got out. Oh, oh, no. No, oh, it's still Barbara working. Righty. The uh, It seems like the stream is still catching me, so it's all your fault. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, Discord's acting weird. I don't know what's going on right there. But anyway, uh, as long as the stream can hear me, we're fine. We're at epic level campaign, level 26. And I believe my lovely wife is once again our recapper, rolling a lovely natural one on the recap roll. So uh, take it away. Oh. <clears throat> uh, so last time we all um, chartered a boat to go and uh, uh, find the, the missing parts of the orb of returning. Um, and our boat ride was relatively successful. There were a couple things that could have steered us off track, but we stayed focused. Um, and then we also found a, a new friend that was under the water and had been for quite some time. Uh, he's a metal man, uh, TT, and he's, uh, now our homie. We love TT. <laughs> and go. shut up. <laughs> Don't you dare. You be nice to TT. He's a good boy. Uh, <laughs> You're and then uh, Neve gave us the ability to breathe underwater for 24 hours. And we quickly started making our descent into the water to avoid the horde coming after us i think that's what i got so you guys dove down which was there a spell that you got you used to get you down yeah, there fast I controlled water controlled water that's what it was all right you guys controlled water and descended 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 down to the edge of the trench you looked down and you saw the many uh remains and uh, I guess carcasses of old ships, and you decided to descend a little bit further and further. Uh, you are connected via telepathic link from someone, is that correct? Me! Now, is it only through you they can talk, or can everyone talk to each other? Everyone can talk to each other. I'm like a conduit. Gotcha, gotcha. With, as long as they're within 200 feet of each other. Cool. Alright. So, uh, you can hear Bronte, uh, or you can hear everyone through your thoughts. Uh, the pressure down here is quite intense. Some of you have already withstood some pressure changes that uh, definitely caused some exhaustion. A spider, I believe you have two levels of exhaustion. One of them was already forgiven by Bronte, who did a lesser restoration or greater restoration, right? Yep. Yeah. I and then am not same with the Neve. Well. <laughs> but you still have one level of exhaustion. That's all I remember is yes. you do have. Yeah, I'm pre I pre-gamed a little too hard. <laughs> all right. Uh, you guys are descending and descending down, and you get to around the top of the, the masts of these ships, um, and you're just going nice and slowly and cautiously, uh, but above you, you can hear what sounds like a very low... Just those, you know that... I got this, uh... I got this, I speak whale. Well. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh have you ever heard of the uh i think it's called the blip si signal or the bloop signal uh that you hear that it's a very low moaning sound very scary in essence is what i'm going for uh Nadine, super scary guys and and as you guys descend further you get to the top of the masts masts before you look down and you see a small light. Something is moving amongst the ships. Um, what do you all do? Uh, I'm going to panic at the disco a little bit because I am out of my element. <laughs> Does anyone do anything? Shoot, sorry. Um, yes, I would like to... Um, where is it? Where is it? I don't know. 
Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, <clears throat> True Seeing for myself, on myself, which will give me uh, 120 feet of True Sight. Okay. And I'm going to start, uh, I guess, making our way to the probably obvious trap, but you know. <laughs> I'll also cast True Seeing on myself. Same distance? Yeah. All right. Remember, this is pitch black darkness, so you definitely need dark vision or true sight or something like that, or blind sense of some sort. So just be aware of that as you guys go through. The picture obviously is not depicting that, but obviously looking at a black picture would not be fun. Uh, nice. So <laughs> as you guys uh, look downward, um, ooh, very nice. Nanive, what do you do? I'm casting freedom of movement on spider. Spider. You now have a swimming speed, I think, and you are pretty much do not have any disadvantage on any melee attack or anything of that Thank sort. All, all of the all of the swimming BS that you have to deal with, you no longer have to deal with. I if if I wasn't married with children, I would just give Nanive the biggest smooch on the lips. But I am, you know, I'm still gonna give her a hug. Just okay. thank you. I feel like Drago would be totally fine with you kissing women. He would. He would, but it's just like... He's mostly prefers that if he's around to watch. Yeah, I was literally going to say that. It's more or less... It's more or less... I don't know if Nanive would be okay with it. I know Drago would be fine. (laughs) Nanive don't care. (laughs) Nanive be smooching everybody. Huge smooch on the cheek from the spider. Just thank you. You're welcome. As you guys uh, look further, Nanive, I see you have a red thing on you. Is that for exhaustion? Yeah, she has one level of exhaustion. I'm pretty sure Bronte got rid of it last session. No, she only got rid of one from Spider. Yeah, I only got, I only got one from Spider. Got it, got it. All right, thank uh, you for keeping track. Just for uh, funsies, I'm going to spell sequence, uh, just prepare a spell sequence uh, for my. All right. As you guys look downward, something is floating, and not swimming, but floating upward towards you. Uh, as you hear in your mind's ear, Welcome, welcome. You must feel so privileged to be in the presence of greatness. I am Nikolai Van Faust, the youngest and most powerful lich in existence. I see you fear, uh, I see fear in your eyes. But fear not. You stand before a being of immense intellect and power. Consider yourselves lucky. Uh, Jesse, hate to run on your parade. We're eternally grateful. Yeah, sure. Uh, (laughs) Um, uh, when the lich tries to communicate with me, this is all he hears. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, because I do not allow him to talk to me. All right, is that an epic thing that you have? Uh, n- oh, no, it's an item. It's a ninth level? An item. It's an I- oh, item. Oh, an item? Uh, all right, it uh, makes it go to Charlotte. Uh, let me read really quick. Uh, I think there's a save that you have to do. Make a charisma saving throw, please. And you have to beat his spell save DC, which is real high. All right, he he breaks through. He breaks through, and you hear it in your mind's ear. Oh, beans! <laughs> How dare! Um, seeing this guy with true sight definitely seems like a, a, a solid aberration of a, a lich, not a illusion or anything weird. Indeed, he does. And at this moment, he kind of like pauses and does a, a little bit of a pose, and then he says, "How did I do?" Was it good? A uh, little boastful, but you know, not too bad. Oh, you're just like my mother. <laughs> I am a mother. Ah, I knew I didn't like you from the start. Ah, regardless, <laughs> I've been working on that for eight hundred years. It's been quite a while. I flip him off. I'm just gonna <laughs> flip him off, just like you too, little man. How tall is this thing? Uh, no more than four feet, four or five ish. Hunt him. Just a little boy. <laughs> uh, in terms of in terms of insight from Spider and Bronte, 
Uh, this dude isn't just a lich. This is an arch lich. This is an incredibly powerful magic user. What is a, a powerful being such as oneself doing all the way down here? Oh, I would love to tell you, but first, it's been so long. Tell me, what's your names? Who are you? Where you come from? Why are you here? Why are you under the trenches? At this point, you hear more. What is that noise? Above you. Never mind that. Tell me, who are you? Why are you here? Uh, can you we tell me what that noise is before I tell you anything about myself? I think it's the Leviathan having some fun with the ships of above. <laughs> Whale sex, cool. <laughs> Whale sex. I need bleach. I need um, so much bleach. <laughs> we are um, but net travelers looking for something that was once, once lost far down here. Oh? A ship, maybe? Some treasure? Well, treasure would be <laughs> nice, but um, no, we're looking for one specific item. Maybe I can help you. Can we suss out his intentions? Yes, um, please. please. With please. that insight that you still roll, I'm going to keep it. Um, you determine that he is very curious as to what you're doing here. Um he wants to play. He is interested in entertainment. Um, do we know? Do I know anything about this person? Historic. So, what he says, uh, Nikolai Van Faust, make a history check. Can I use this? If you're proficient. Uh, that was a twenty-five. Some wrong with Absolutely. that. Twenty. I'll fix. Twenty-five. Uh, the the von Faust family is uh, a relatively well uh, uh, what do you call it a well off family that was around around eight hundred years ago on the world of Tataris. They have since disappeared, uh, but they were well established, and uh, there were some interesting things that happened in their town slash city um, that many other city states were concerned about what was happening there. But the Van Faust family like said, no, 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 it's everything's cool, don't worry, everything's fine. And then all of a sudden, poof, they're gone. One day. Just the the like not the city, but the Von Faust family just disappeared. And when people went to go investigate that city, they found a horde of undead ghoul skeletons, zombies, the whole thing, the entire town slash city had just been turned into a necropolis. And it was in essence, nuked and wiped off the face of the planet. But the Von Faust were never found, and their manor remained empty. And was it, were they part of one of the two cities that was transported, or? They were not. Completely different area, um, but they were they were well-off people, noblemen, noble people, um, and they were in charge of a city-state that, in essence, turned into nothing. And then they disappeared. <laughs> probably dealt with Parker. That's what I'm hearing from this. Well, you mm -hmm. haven't... Uh, you said you're looking for something, but tell me, what is your occupations? I'm just going to uh, gesture to the armor, like, does this not explain it? Fair adventurous. Old. Librarian. Ah, sexy librarian, I see. Oh, thank you, young oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I should talk to a police officer or something. <laughs> that was Jesse, not the kid. I'm sorry. It just came out. <laughs> uh, I've seen this one before, and he points at TT, but this one looks like an updated model. Oh, oh. Soul really coins, see. you have quite a few on you. As you see, its eyes kind of glint. Uh, Diav, you recognize True Sight when he casts it. Um, and he just says, you are not like a normal me mechanical being. You are different for sure. 
Oh, don't like don't you. give him don't give him more of an ego than he already has. <laughs> How did you accomplish such a feat? Oh, uh, you know, ways of doing stuff. You know, I I can tell you if you uh, want to sign a contract. Oh, I would love to make a contract with you. Is he just like really oh. horny? Is that what I'm getting at? <laughs> Listen, he's a 13 year old prepubescent kid who turned into a lich. <laughs> he's stuck in this awkward phase. <laughs> that's fair. Well, that's not our problem. And you, you glow as if you are of the divine. She is. She's a fucking goddess. Uh, in my heart. Demi. Demi. In my heart. I've... In my, my heart, heart, in my heart, <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> and this one over here. Interesting. I have not seen such a beast as the one that you have, as he points to the Nineveh. Are you, did he just call the Nineveh a beast? No, 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 the fox. I think he's talking about the fox. <laughs> I was like, very, how dare? The very wet, the very unhappy fox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Luna's not too happy about being underwater. <sighs> what about her? Oh my god, that was a fucking ordeal. You guys... Bravo! Uh, it's just so interesting. I haven't seen a fox in quite some time. Oh! Uh, I would love to stay here and chat some more. But how would you all like to play a game for a little bit? Uh... I what's mean, what's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, I can well, help what, you find what whatever it is you're looking for. What sort of game are we talking about here? You hear more of that moaning loudly up on top, and then you see uh, coming down into the trench, uh, like a little bit of ways, probably 100 feet away, you see a mast just... Mm, crash into another ship about 100 feet from you. Um, and he just says, well, I would very much like to see you handle the Leviathan. Let's see what you're made of, what you say. Mm. Uh, uh, Bronte looks up and looks, I'm assuming, at a Leviathan. As you look up, you see swimming towards you, an enormous bone leviathan with a ship in its uh, maw as it cracks uh, the ship in half. And uh, you see a multitude of other little tiny bone fish that are swimming next to it, eating uh -oh. pieces of what you assume to be flesh uh, as the <laughs> swarms of fish uh -oh. head towards your location. And I'm going to need you all to roll initiative. <laughs> I was going to say, it doesn't look like we have much of a choice. <laughs> Uh, was that our ship in the mouth of the beast? Uh, he left pretty check. quickly. Unsure uh, spider and unsure mod. Oh, Hard I'm very see. distracted. All right. Why is this such inspiring music that just started playing? <laughs> Of course, I would roll a natural 20 on the perception. Let's do that. I'm so damn proud. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the that's the vibe. All right. Bone Leviathan and Swarm of Boony Fish. All right. Oh, yeah. Bony Fish going forward. So you guys watch as the Bony Fish... Uh, immediately charge forward and they have a swim speed of 30 feet. So uh, this is obviously not 3D. We're going to just pretend the best we can. Uh, I know it's hard to visualize, but hey, you do what you got to do. Uh, this fish is going to swim forward and is going to... Uh, so uh, that oar around me is 15 feet. Or I am perpetually on fire. And whenever a creature gets within 15 feet of me, they take D6 damage. How does that work underwater? I uh, halved underwater. Yeah, it's resistance underwater. Yeah. So halved. Alright, so halved is 15 feet, or 15 damage, 16 damage? 
Yes. Oh, Beautiful. Uh, not right now. Never mind. Don't do that. Oh, start my turn. I started your turn. Got it. Got it. You're fine. Uh, all right. Let me also do this. Uh, there we go. Nanive, you were supposed to go first. All right. Uh, bony fish that one already attacked Diav. Diav, just take that damage if it hit or if it didn't hit. Um, and then Nanive, it is your turn. Okay. So there's bony fish here. Okay. Nanive's going to swim up here and take a swing at this guy. Let me get to my with her. It's a uh, 31 to hit. Yeah. Is it both sets of piercing damage, Jesse? Uh, let me read it. One, da, da, da. It no, it is not. It's just, it's just the one. I don't. It's just the 22. Save. Uh, the con save is for yes. You do have to make the con save. It's only a DC 15 though. You're good. But yeah, it's only the 22. When it's uh, a half of a swarm, then you take the other one because it's a half swarm. Uh, Nanive, gotcha. sorry, you were whacking them with a sword. And yes. tell me the total damage. 18 plus 20, 27. I will get you that math. Uh, 45? Yeah. All right, it's 45. Where did that 18 come from? there's because it mapped the total is 27 down there is what i see oh it does the math already okay it's the 27 then gotcha gotcha anything else nope beautiful all right it is now a half swarm all right now it is the swarms uh turn and they're gonna go 5 10 15 20 25 30 oh yeah 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Aww. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh. All right. Cool. These guys are just going to do a lump sum right here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then these guys will just do a lump sum. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, cool. They're swarming in. Diav, you're going to take another one. <clears throat> and it's going to uh, go all up into your robes and stuff and try to bite you. It, it misses. Uh, and then the other one, other two are going to attack Neneve. So Neneve, this one's going to try and uh, bite you on your wrists and ankles, uh, taking flesh. Wow, these are crappy rolls. Um, yeah, that misses. And then next one, 23, finally. Uh, that one would hit if it's going at Neve. Yep, and that's uh, 16 piercing damage. Make a con save, please. And Diav. Oh, I don't like this right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do two things. One, I'm going to use my action to cast Dimensional Mastery. Um, so I am going to have all of the Bone Swarms and the Leviathan make Charisma saves. And then anybody of my friends is unwilling can also make a Charisma save, but I'm going to teleport us all within a 60-foot radius into wherever I can see. All right. One of the Bone Fish, Little Bone Fish, is going to succeed, and the Bone Leviathan is going to get a 16 and do a legendary resistance. Okay. Um, I'm going to teleport all of the fish behind the Leviathan grouped up as best as I can. Like in a, in like a little ball. Yep. All right. Just keep talking. I'm just going to go. Um, I'm just going to move some people around. Uh, Baranti probably want to be at least close enough to see everybody. Spider up front. Mod Dib. Back a little. The Hounds of War! Right, <laughs> she's freaking out. And Neneve. 
I haven't really seen you do much except for you did swim up and do melee. I guess I'll keep you up front too. And that'll put us in, I think, a little better position. Maybe I'll move Mod Dead back just a little. Excellent positioning. Okay, and that is my action. Bonus action, I'm going to release my spell sequence on the Leviathan. Ooh. And I'm going to do so three fifth level um, magic missiles, which are all at maximum damage because of my 26th level of feat or feature. Uh, so that is 73 times 3 is 219 damage arcane to it. And it's 219. Anything else? I'm just going to be like, uh, in my brain to everyone, that thing's not going to be very happy with me. Um, if you all could just do your thing, and <laughs> that, that'll be my turn. Absolutely, the Bone sir. Leviathan uh, gets a massive just tank face tanks it as it begins to swim barreling forward 5 10 15 20 uh it has a lot of feet of movement speed but the first thing it's gonna do is it is going to uh kind of twist around and you see it's fin just whoosh, send a huge uh gust of a tidal wave Towards all of you, magically, I think it's 120 feet. It's 100 feet long, 200 feet tall. It is a very large um, wave that's going to hit all of you. Everyone, make a strength saving throw. 34 points of damage on a fail. Wad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Ooh, that's a all right. Page. Those that failed take the 34 points of damage, and you are pushed back 5, 10, 15, and Dia 5, 10, uh, you can't go any further than that, uh, and then who else? Neneve, 5, 10, 15, all right, beautiful, and at this point, the uh, creature is going to also regain 20 hit points because of its undead nature, regenerative. Uh, Dusty? Yeah. Do those who pass take half or nothing? Yes, you take half, but you do not get pushed okay. back. Uh, and then Neneev, Maud, and Diav, please roll a D100 on an 80 or higher. You're going to hit a mast or a rock or something and take extra damage. You're good, you're good, and 81, Maud. It was bad to happen to so, one of us. Maud, you hit a mast. And you, it just right on the back, cracks right through the mast and uh, like the pole. And you're gonna take 11 points of bludgeoning damage on top of that. Um, and this creature, what's it gonna do? Yeah, it's gonna just hang out right there for a bit. And that's gonna be Bronte's turn. Hey. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna swim right here before the end of its turn. Um, where is it? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh. <laughs> um. Bronte sees this thing just kind of barreling at us and going, oh, no. Oh no. Uh, 4, 10, 15, 20. I'm actually going to swim up to it like a insane person. Um, and I am going to reach out and touch it. Touch the butt. Um, and. Oh, I, ha I get to make a melee spell attack against it. Okay, hold please. That'll hit. 33. Okay. Uh, it is banished. <clears throat> it is banished? Uh, yeah. With planar eviction. It's a tier 2 epic spell. Is there any you make save a, on it? it? There sure isn't. 
You make a melee spell attack against a creature you can reach. On a successful hit, you banish the target, scattering its form across the planes. Also banished, so th there is a time frame. Uh, the creature is incapacitated and can attempt a charisma saving throw at the end of each of its turns to end the effect. When the banishment ends, the creature can choose to return to an unoccupied space nearest to where it was banished or to a different plane of its choice. If it returns to the plane from which it was banished, uh, it takes 10d10 force damage for each of the turns it was banished. Ah, damn. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to mark him as uh, out for now. And poof, the bone leviathan is gone, and it creates a huge vacuum in the ocean, which causes a sonic boom, which ignites the water <laughs> around you to a thousand degrees, and you okay, all die. Okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, he's oh, mostly bone, right? A little better. <laughs> all right. Uh, anything else, Bronte? Um, I'm just checking to see. I don't think it. No, but instantaneous. It's not great. Uh. Nope, that's all I'm doing. Oh, actually, sorry. Bonus action. I take another. I eat my other spark. I eat another spark. Divine spark. I divine spark it's myself. Yep. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Uh, I'm going to say at the end of Bronte's turn, it's going to attempt a legendary action. Or uh, not a legendary action. Uh, uh, no, never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. Uh, all right, Bronte, that was you. Easy enough. <laughs> what? Uh, that changes a lot of things really quick. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> How dare you? No, that's uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> and that's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Never again, dear God. Uh, I'm gonna move up to here, and I'm gonna need all the uh, ten of the squishy boys, well, bony boys, back there to make uh, intelligence saving throws. Oh, you know that they're not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god, let's. I'm just gonna roll a couple of these. Here we go. Here we go. Hey! Oh, they get twenty. One of them's gonna make it. <laughs> One of them makes it. Hooray! So the one that saved isn't stunned, but takes half damage. All right. Well, 44 is already going to reduce these swarms to a, a wee little bit amount. Uh, anything else? Um, just checking for distance. Uh, yeah. Add insult to injury. Rot's going to go here. And. This guy 60. Yes, he is. I need this guy to make a con save. I'm going to assume he is not dead. Not it's just the corner dude? Yeah. It's just a cantrip. It's for us, buddy. Man, 16. So right, he has disadvantage else? on the next weapon attack. That's <laughs> if he can even reach anyone. <laughs> Anything else? That'd be all, Captain. All right, Spider. All right, well, this is a dumb question because I haven't played any D&D &D underwater like this before. Can you shoot arrows through the water? Is that going to have any disadvantage? Yes, but with a crossbow, it's not disadvantage. In essence... Well, I don't have a crossbow. Your so. javelin also can be thrown underwater. It just you can only throw it up to its normal rate. Yeah, not yeah, so not its range. far. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna for funsies. I just want to try shooting at the bony fish just to see if I can hit them. Which one? Just the ones in the front. How about this guy ten feet from you? Sh Oh, if there's one 10 feet in front... Oh, there is. Sorry, it's covered up by the... Um, yep. Doesn't by the matter. Okay, you well, missed from the guy 10 feet in front well, of you. How could you miss? He was 3 feet in front of you. I can move to <laughs> That's not nice. Can I try that again, but with you my You most certainly javelin. could try. So we know hey. Jesse has recently watched Bruce Almighty and Mulan. 
<laughs> Neither of those are true, but I love those movies. <laughs> uh, you hit, you hit, you hit. How would you like to kill it? Um, I'm just going to skewer it. It's going to wiggle, and then it's just going to kind of fall apart and fall to the bottom of the ocean. You word. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Anything else, spider? Uh, nope. I'm just preparing for the big one to come back. Uh, for those paying attention, that was a uh, the Adventurers Down Under reference. Uh, all right. It is now uh, the start of the round, and at the start of the round... If you mean the Rescuers Down Under, Jesse? Fuck, you're right. <laughs> it is the Rescuers. It took me a second. <laughs> you guys called yourselves Adventurers. It was in my head. All right, everyone roll a d100. Uh, highest one gets it. Or if you're 90 or higher. I like that. So most of you could get it. Ooh, Neneev, not rolling really well. Uh, am I waiting on someone else? No. Neneev, it is you. Uh, Neneev, you hear the, the sound of something swishing through the water. You look up. It's a freaking massive piece of wood coming down upon you. A uh, <laughs> heavy piece of wood. Uh, I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Sounds like my Friday night. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> oh, look at those twelves! Oof, da. Neneev, you take thirty-three points of bludgeoning damage as the wood just whacks you right in the face. Uh, yes, I'm waiting for it. Uh, and then, yeah, the it just comes down and more just piles onto the into the trench down below. Um, but you recover and get back to your location. Uh, re with relative ease, but you take 33 points of damage, please. There you go. Uh, that was that. Neneev, it is your turn. Yeah, ouch. Um, Neneev is going to use her action to wild shape, and yep. she is wild shaping into a deep dragon. It has swim Ooh. speed. Yeah, yeah. Whoop, whoop. Deep dragon was my nickname. Oh my god. <laughs> and then as big purple dragon gonna move my other new team in high school we're gonna move over no. here and I believe that's 40, about 40 feet from where I was let me triple check that oh that's 35 feet we're gonna move 5 feet over here and then that will be her turn since she used her action already alright and that's going to be the bony boy's turn. Uh, Mwadib, are they incapacitated after they got hit by the intellect thing? They are stunned. They are stunned, except for one. One is not stunned. And ah. this guy. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, it's going to go after that massive, <laughs> that massive dragon. <laughs> uh, it, it is a 20 to hit the deep dragon, 20 piercing damage to you. Okay. Yeah, that hits. All right. Diav. Oh, little old me. Oh, little old you. Um, I just have to check the range on this real quick. Oh, I I don't have to even have to move. I'm gonna I'm just gonna get rid of these little boys here. I'm gonna do a fireball at these guys over here. Oh, um, but it's going to be arcane damage. Oh. Um, that's going to be dexterity saves, which they all fail, I think, because they're stud. Yep. Uh, so that is... ...31 arcane damage to all of them. Alright, let's see. Any of them survive? Nope. All gone. Poof. What about this bad boy right here? Uh, he wouldn't have been in the radius, so gotcha. I will not uh, do anything extra for him. Alright, cool. This little guy is like, I live! Uh, anything else do you have? I'll be my turn. Alright, the Bony Boy is coming back. You know it. You love him. You love to see him. Here we go! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> and he has now expended another use of his legendary resistance. 
and he is back, and he takes 10d10 damage. Go ahead and roll that, please. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. I should put that's a lot of damage in the soundboard. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Emotional damage! <laughs> uh, so 61 force. Is it a plus 10? Good roll. Yeah, it is. Wow. Wow. And then that's the end of his turn. All right. That was the end of his turn. Bronte, it is your turn. Did I do that again? No. <laughs> Don't care. Waste your resources. You got a whole dungeon to get through. Don't you worry about me, buddy. I know what I'm doing. I think. <laughs> I hope. <Do> you. <laughs> Um, let's see. Fuck a doodle do. Um, yeah, all right. Let's fucking just beat this dude up. Um, um, let's see. Let's see what a home looks like, y'all. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I could do it where I don't hit any of my friends. Nah, I just hit them. Hey. <laughs> no, thank you. Well, I said, don't money. She said friends, my dib, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, uh, So, uh, let's see. Roll a D8. Four. Ooh. Really quick, Bronte, take seven points of damage for starting your turn in the Bone Leviathan's aura. No. <laughs> I can do that. Tell me which color of the ray effects. One, two, three, four. Mm, something tells me poison damage doesn't affect him. Are you going to roll it? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm rolling it. I'm asking you, does poison damage affect him? Uh, no, it does not. Okay, then I'm not going to bother doing the dice um okay realizing yeah he's undead and i can't really control prismatic fray in that way so that was my action uh bonus action i don't really have a bonus section that's not a spell so i will leave it there all right oh, aaron just got called in to work so that's great oh. Uh, all right. Bye. Anything else, Bronte? Nope, that's it. Cool. Everyone, as it uses its two legendary actions, minus two, you guys hear that very low but ear-splitting, and it just uh, expands upon all of you. I'm going to need you all to make a wisdom saving throw or be frightened and take damage. I am going to take damage. You are immune to psychic? Cool. Damn, I'm also scary. I'm immune to being frightened and I am also immune to psychic. <laughs> well then la di da. <laughs> so thy natural bond means nothing. <laughs> I'm using my luck I'm using my lucky <laughs> if I can. Alright, cool. I have ten hit points. No no no, that's not hundred twenty. I'm sorry. That was I don't know how that rolled hundred and twenty. Okay. It, all creatures within 120 feet. I think it grabbed that for some reason. It's really 48 damage, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was like, Jesus fear not. Eight. Yeah, fear not. All right, so I'm going to be at 88. All right. I'm glad I used my luck feed. <laughs> and you take half damage if you yada yada yada. You know how to do it. All right, Wad, it is your turn. Uh, Is that aura touching him? I see in the zone. It <laughs> does look like it. It's like... It's like crushing just the his tip. Balls. Yeah, it's That's just the tip. the tip. Tip doesn't matter. The tip's the hardest part. You know what? If that if if that's the case, then his aura, of fifteen foot, is touching yours. Yeah. So yeah. you take eleven points of necrotic damage. <laughs> All right. Minus thirty-eight halved is I can't do math. Nineteen. All right. Cool. Anything else? That was just uh, getting hurt. Yeah. Um. Boop. Con save. Con saves. Uh, this guy. 
no dice, super chief. And uh, how about he takes a nice long journey? He's going to resist. That's fine. So he takes half damage and he's gone through hell. Minus 28. Minus 28, half damage. And the hurl through hell is now a charisma save, yeah? Yes, sir. We'll see Not about that. Balls. Ooh. So 38 um psych uh yeah 38 psychic damage and he is gone till the end of my next turn. Minus 38. All right. Everyone is going to I guess hold their action, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's no Oh, uh, well there is the one in front of Nanive. Yeah, spider, there's you want to take care of that one? Yeah, I'll take care of that one. All right, go for it. See if you can hit it. All right. Am I close enough where I don't have to move? I don't know. Me, I mean, even I mean, but even if you're on this side, babe, you could, you'll still be within range to attack. Yeah, him. that's true. That's true. All right, give me one moment, please. Natural one? What is that? Stop it. Why do you... I, Sam, legitimately, I don't think I've ever seen you get a natural 20 on, like, anything. I know. I know. You don't need to say it. I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> uh, it looks like... I'm going to do quick math. It looks like it'll all add up. How do you want to kill it? Uh, again, it's just going to be one of those, like, I hit it, it comes back. I hit it again, it comes back. I hit it one more time, and the electricity kind of, like, I kind of, okay, so this is going to sound really stupid. You know when, in, like, cartoons, when characters get electrocuted, their uh, their skeleton shows up? Yeah. For a split <laughs> second, it's going to be the opposite for him, and then it's gonna he's going to show just flesh. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, and then it's going to crumble down from, to the ocean floor as my uh, as my javelin returns back to me, and I look like motherfucking Aquaman. Yeah. <laughs> great. All right. Anything else, Spider? No, that's it. Everyone roll a d100. Highest one gets it, or 90 or above gets it, as you see more pieces of ship. Falling. Nice, nice. spider. <laughs> <laughs> Nanive, why is it always no. you? All right, Nanive, you see. To be something... fair, she's a lot bigger than the rest of us. Right? That is true. Yeah, you are. True. Uh, Nanive, make it a thing as a shield. Dragon shield. Okay. Need to get back into dragon's thing because she is technically a dragon. You said deck save. Yes, please. You're good. You take half damage, hey. only 15, 14 points of damage. Uh, and Nanive, it is your turn. Uh, in essence, uh, everyone is going to have a turn except for Spider before the creature gets back. So you all can hold your action uh, if you want to do that. Do we all want to do that? Do we all con concur? Yes. All right. Come up with what you're going to do, and then let me know when you are all ready. So, Nanive, Diav, Bronte, and Maud, uh, let me know what you're going to do, and Rot, and then we will do it. Nanive is mo right. using her, some of her movement, at least, to get over here, because she's just assuming it's going to show up right where it dropped off, and if she did what she wanted to do where she was, she'd hit Spider. Um, but she Sorry. is going to hold She's going to hold her action for her, um, for her, uh, nightmare breath. Nightmare breath. All right. Others, Diav, you ready? Yep. Bronte, you ready? Hey, yes. Maud, you ready? I need two concepts. All right. So, uh, we're just going to go from Maud. It will pop back as soon as it gets back into on Maud's turn, right? Or at the end of your turn, Wad. End of my so turn. he'll go last. Okay, so yeah. he'll go last. All right, Spider, <clears throat> we are... <clears throat> Actually, it would, it would be not your held action, but just a regular action. So, Spider, how about you go yep. first? All 
All right, 14, 13, 27, 41, 50. Exactly, beautiful. Anything else, uh, Spider? And then I'm using a superiority dice, and then I'm going to do one of my stances as my... Um, my I'm going to do the incision of a thousand diamonds, and mm -hmm. this is going to be... Wait, no. Where is it? Neneve, Dia, Bronte, and Maud, go ahead and roll what you want to roll, and uh, you'll explain what you do on your turn and just tell me the damage. Am I missing a page to do? No, I'm not. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to... I thought I was missing a page. Um, I'm going to do a superiority dice, and then I'm going to do one more attack. Let me just get that up. And All right. Superiority dice. And that attack should be doubled. So 15 is 30? Yes. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Starting with Sorry. Neneve, could you please tell me what you're doing? I'm... Okay. Threading the needle. <laughs> yeah. Get it, girl. Uh, she is using her Nightmare Breath, which is a 60-foot cone, and every creature in that area needs to make a, uh, let me hear this, needs to make a DC 16 Wisdom Saving Throw. Okay. 1 to 5. That annoyingly passes. <laughs> um, take, so he'll take half uh where did it go 33 so about 16. 16, 16 points of um psychic damage all right anything else unfortunately no longer not frightened no worries couldn't get frightened anyway diav uh i uh, uh, fling a arcane firebolt out surrounded by 12 magic missiles dealing uh 82 arcane damage 82 minus 82 beautiful bronte uh oh guiding bolts uh 36 to hit yep 24 radiance minus 24 mod uh, two frostbites, so I need two con saves. Uh, con saves. Uh, 13 damage. Still alive. Ooh. Barely. Alright, it is going to, in that case, uh, use... Wait a minute, wait a minute. It was on my turn that I did that, right? That was your held action. Yeah, it came back at the end of his turn. So it's spider's right, okay. turn. Yep, never mind that. All right. I think Jesse's spider... like, I just want to play with big monsters. They keep fucking killing them. So... All right. At the end of Spider's last turn, we kind of went out of order, but at the end of Spider's last turn, it's going to do a tail swipe on Spider. And then yeah, Spider can go. What the? F All right, Spider. How? Just finish it off. Just kill me now. Fucking kill All me right. now. <laughs> Taking my ball and going home. <laughs> How do you want to kill it, Spider? I'm going to keep hitting it until I see it literally break apart and fall to the bottom of the ocean with a big, fat, dusty thud. All right, Spider, take 16 points of necrotic damage as it falls down to the ships below. And just as you said, a massive <laughs> falls slowly into the depths, not to move again. You all take a moment and collect yourselves as you hear in your in your head, um, well, that was wonderful, so exciting, so entertaining. Please, come in, come in. I've longed for company. 
as he descends down into one of the ships, one of the like grates of the ship and stairwell down uh, opens up and he descends down in there and just says, come in, come in, come in, as he disappears somewhere beneath the deck of the ship. Lovely. Uh, we've made a friend, everyone. Growls from yeah. the knees. <laughs> um, lovely. Uh, Bronte, do you mind hitting me with something, um, <clears throat> for this? Okay, right, 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 right. Um, <laughs> I will, uh, mass healing word, my friends. Or, you know what, I will mass cure wounds. How about that? Minion is going to wild shape back into herself as well. Got that. That is an awful roll. <laughs> that is a really bad roll. That's pretty. That's exactly what I rolled like with my fucking fireball. <laughs> Uh, 19 for everybody, and then I will, uh, do that again, because that was awful. Uh, there we go. Much Look at that. So much better. A lower level, and you did Yes! <laughs> Correct. <laughs> That's awesome. I will, uh, cast light at the tip of, um, my, uh, mage staff as we descend into Shadows. At the tip of your rod, got it. All right. As you descend, uh, it weirdly has a little bit of light as you descend the staircases. Um, and just as you were kind of like floating slash swimming, uh, you feel wood, like hard wood beneath your feet and dryness. And as you descend further, gravity starts to take hold and you, f you kind of fall into it. But it looks like as you mm -hmm. step into this ship, it is dry. You are, you can look at a wall of water above you. Nice. And then dryness in the room that you see in front of you. You walk into this room and it looks to be a, a stale air, but semi-homey environment. To the south, you can see a pile of bones with wet, muddy footprints leading away into another room. On the north, you can see a nice cozy couch with a lamp, a blanket, a cup of something, and a few books lying on the table. There's a door to the west. Anything interesting in the books? As you go to the books, you read Zombie Zoology. A Kid's Guide to Undead Pets. Another book says, Wicked Wizards and Wacky Wands. A comical compilation. And then the last one, Ghouls, Ghouls, oh, Ghosts, Ghouls, and Giggles. A hauntingly hilarious handbook. All mostly child books. A young man giving, given too much power before his time. Uh, are we seeing any... Um replication here he asks his group um i'm sorry say that again a young man given too much power before his time it doesn't sound like anyone we know hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, baranti cheekily looks at modib what oh yes no i've never never thought of that before i was thinking more sarah for I know, I know. <laughs> Mwadib, well? this seems to be opening up his compartment and in a corner is just like leaking a lot of water to try and get it out. Looks like he's peeing from the backside, but then he turns and it's just like his chest cavity. They were just trying to, you know, <laughs> get rid of all Get rid of it. 
don't yeah. want to rest. You know. TikTok's behind them, giving a pat on the back. Beep boop. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make a really quick token for TT because I forgot about him. I'll go with TT. How the dare you forget TT? <laughs> how, how dare you forget our son? As you go and open the door, uh, the first thing you can hear are clinks and clatters. Uh, the sound of what you assume to be a kind of a, a dining area. And... It's like he's trying to clean up his mess before we come in. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, pan <of> clean. <laughs> Honestly, like that was one of the hardest parts about us being uh, locked down because of the pandemic was that the threat of my friends coming over like weekly and or bi-weekly got my house so clean all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was just Jeremy and I, and it was like, well, who fucking cares? Uh, as you walk in, and I need a change of music. And this is going to be... Sure, that one works. All right. As you walk in, you can see a very nice dining room. Uh, there is a, a, a quite a buffet of food in front of you. Uh, well lit, well furnished, beautiful artwork of a galley ship in the corner with a uh, like someone at the helm. Uh, you see Nikolai is sitting at the very edge of the table or end of the table. Uh, and he looks like he is uh, drinking, and when I say drinking, I use air quotes, uh, some fresh milk as he says, um, you know, when playing with my family, I was often given a handicap. Uh, they said that I was too small, and, you know, I didn't really like that. It was kind of like cheating. But as I grew older, I kind of figured uh, a handicap might be important. Um, did you enjoy the first uh, little bit of our fun? Was that a, a good time uh, to you? Telepathically to our entire group, I just say, do we even want to know where he got the milk? <laughs> With true seeing, does it is it real? Uh, it is. All this is real. You know, I don't think we want to know, and I'm not going to ask. Uh, it was... Shit like sea cows, obviously. <laughs> um, leviathans are fascinating creatures that one does not run into every day. Interesting experience. What else do you have in mind? Because you looking a little mischievous. Is there anything that I can improve? Anything that you saw about the leviathan that was, uh, I don't know... Uh, unexpected, or or it didn't fit the theme. Anything I could change to make it more pleasurable, make it a more fun and exciting encounter. Um, why do I get the feeling like this is going to turn into some tourist trap? Probably because it is. I like the hunch. <laughs> well, he did kind of say that he was lonely. Oh, I could always use an apprentice. Okay, I think he's a little bit out of your league, darling. What do you mean? <laughs> That's a burn. I think he's just above your skill level. He's, he's above creating... your pay grade, hon. You're not he's as good as okay. He's creating leviathans, for Christ's sakes. <laughs> to be fair, he's a necromancer. He's not creating leviathans. He's just reanimating them. Oh, for for that matter, I I do create them. I take the bone meal and I I create new things from it. Uh, that Leviathan was probably I don't know a thousand individuals that I had to crush up and create from new. Yeah, see, I only need one soul to make a golem. He needs a thousand. I don't know. I think I could do better. I see you have plenty of soul coins on you, or at least I can detect them. Uh, very nice. Uh, are you someone who practices in the necromantic arts? Is, is, is it necromancy or is it solomancy? Animancy. I like animancy. You manipulate souls for your own bidding, right? I'd call that necromancy. Semantics. I don't use the bodies. I just use, you know, just the, the substance, the juicy, juicy substance. 
We could make a great team. I would use the bodies, and you could take the souls. It would be wonderful. Yeah, I've, I've always loved it. Would love to have an apprentice. Oh, no, no. Uh, you would be the apprentice to me. I don't know. I think I know a little bit more than you. Oh, oh, oh. I've been around for quite some time. I know I might seem small, but I know a thing or two. Speaking back about the handicap thing, there are so many of you and so few of me. I feel that maybe we should put a handicap on our little fun. What do you say? Are you afraid? Oh, afraid? No. It's just fair play. It reads as you're afraid. Uh, are you saying it's fair play because you're outnumbered? Of course. Right. Uh, give us your idea and then we'll give you the agreement. Oh, I'm not asking for agreement. And at this point, uh, Diav, you know immediately he's casting a Wave of Calamity, a Tier 1 spell on you all. Well, As Toxic I can't fumes, do it. it counterspell it, Epic Magic. Uh, I think there is a counterspell for Epic Magic, but you, don't, you might not have it. Um, toxic Fumes emanate from the mouth... Uh, overwhelming those who are unfortunate enough to be exposed to it. The fumes cover the room, and as they do, Diav, you, with your true sight, and I think Bronte with your true sight, you watch as Nikolai just becomes incorporeal and goes beneath the floorboards while you all are choking on gas. Everyone make a con save, please. Uh, is this poise? Uh, let me see... God, a creature me. immune to poison condition has epic advantage on saving throws against the spell. I have resisted. I have advantage on con against poison. So. All right, just take your take your advantage. We'll just give you it. Okay, that's good because my con is ass. <laughs> hey, two levels of more oh, levels yeah. of exhaustion. Yay! <laughs> All right. Oh, Everyone sorry, no except thanks. for Spider takes a level of exhaustion. Spider, you already had one level, or maybe yeah, it was just a creature gains two levels on a failure or one on a success. So, oh, Spider, then you, well, how often? How long does it last? It doesn't last too long. Uh, da -da 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 -da. A creature with one or more levels of exhaustion gained in the spell may attempt a constitution if they're at the start of each of its turns to remove the low one level spell of exhaustion gained by the spell. Creature is immune. Da, 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 da. But how uh, long does it last? Was that cast as an epic level? Indeed it was. Uh, was it tier two? Hold on, let me find it. You're going to go ahead and take that red dot off of me. Thank you. All right. So at the end of our, the start of our each of our turns, we can remove a level of exhaustion by succeeding on one. Indeed. Bronte's immune to exhaustion. Ubi. Nice. No handicap uh, for you. <laughs> She's the wait, ringer so in the Paralympic. Was that tier two? It was tier one. Tier one. Okay. So as you guys are hawking up a lung and, and not having a good time, uh, Nikolai disappears from your view and you are left with this banquet, some muddy footprints, this artwork with a galleon ship and a captain on the galleon ship at the helm and choking your brains out. I assume all of you will eventually make your con save and just hawk a lung uh, until you make your con saves. Uh, what's the con? Uh, it is 31. Yeah, I ain't ever making that. Oh, yeah. A natural a 20 is what you need. Yeah, I have a plus two to my con. <laughs> so yeah, just keep rolling, and that's how many turns it would take you. Uh, so in essence, it would probably take you like a minute. So 10 turns, I assume you can roll 10 times and maybe get a natural 20. But you guys hawk up a lung. Uh, only Neneve and Spider have their original exhaustion still present. Diav, Rot, and Wad, you get rid of your exhaustion over the course of a minute of hawking up a lung. Uh, ooh, 
I forgot to roll raw. Hang on a second. It's fine. We know it's gonna happen after a minute. But you guys are left in this room with a large uh, bit of cloud left over, just kind of getting out of the room. What are you guys doing? I'm just gonna kind of comment on everyone else hawking up a lung, like, you know, my kid makes more toxic shits than this, right? <laughs> Can I uh, investigate the pain? Uh, yeah. So, let me see. I was going to say the door. Uh, Diav, what is your passive uh, perception, please? Perception or investigation? Perception. 12. Good. All right. As you look at the uh, at the galleon ship with a, the person at the helm, you notice that it is in very much... A, a skeleton person. It is actually Nikolai von Faust, but in a much more adult-like setting. This is very much a fantasy piece. No. Um, like him, him visualizing himself in the future or something like that. Um, and as you look at the skull, uh, the eye sockets begin to light up and the pressure plate that you did not notice underneath your feet at that picture also goes down and this is what's going to happen so first off when the pressure plate is uh triggered scything blades come out from the walls and these are spectral scything blades all creatures in the area must make a dexterity saving throw or take a crap ton of damage as for the other one the spirit skull uh when you look into when a creature looks into the skull, the glyph activates, and it is a glyph of warding. And Diav, you would notice that as it as the spell shot off. Um, you would know it's a glyph of warding, and the spell that it has is Spirit Guardians. Are you doing anything to that reaction? Well, I mean, technically, you cannot react to that. Uh, you can't. You cannot counterspell a stored spell because it's not in the process of being cast. Um, are either of these spells directed directly at me? The Scything Blades is a trap. It is not a spell. The Glyph of Warding and the Spirit Guardians is the thing that's in the skull that is being cast. It is not directly to you. It's the area of effect. Okay, let me just look at the wording on something real quick. Sure. I just thought that you could like detect spells like at will. Um, all right. So I'm going to need Dexterity Saving Throws from everyone for the Scything Blades. Or take a boatload of damage. I'm gonna tell you right now, I have been rolling like ass. You and me both, buddy. The DC is 20 for the dex. So only Naneev passes. If you and pass, I, oh, you yeah, I can, yeah, take I can. I can, 24. Yeah. If you fail, you take 48 points of uh, scything damage, or what is this? Perfect. What is scything? Slashing damage. And you are restrained as the, the scythes now, like, they pull you onto the wall, and now you're being wedged between the scythe and the wall. Um, so everyone except for Neneve is being pushed onto and the wall. Ronti. And for Ronti. And Ronti. So, yeah, 23. Or 21, sorry. All right. And you are being pulled onto the wall as Diav uh, is looking at this picture um, and is also is pulled... Yep. This has been less than 10 minutes since the Leviathan, so I'm just going to use my action to teleport us all to the opposite end. All right. So you get out of the Scything Blades. You are no longer restrained. You still take the damage of 48, but you are just now teleported, let's say, back over here. Yep. Or in the middle. Yeah, that's fine. On top of the table. Um, <laughs> as for the Spirit Guardians, let me get to that. The spirit guardians immediately come out and they materialize 15 foot radius creeps. Uh, everyone make a wisdom saving throw within 15 feet, which is only Diav, if I remember correctly. Diav and Rot. Diav and Rot make a wisdom save. I will have advantage on Coo, coo, coo. Is it an epic level spell? No, it is spirit guardians. Cool. I don't know why my bars aren't showing up. 
Uh, Rot has advantage and takes no damage if they save. She saves. If she saves? Yeah, so she has a 28. Oh, she oh she has advantage. That's right. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. So half damage. So Rot takes none, and then Diav, you take half. This is going to be necrotic damage. But then you poof out of it, out of existence, out of the the room, and you now uh, only take seventeen halved is eight eight necrotic damage. You all poof out of the room as the scything blades shink come back uh, into the walls. The door is still open. You can see inside. The room is now quiet. And you all are standing around this pile of bones um, and kind of just got hurt a little bit. What you all doing? Um, saying? With true sight, can we still see him like underneath us? It's not x-ray vision. Uh, joke's on you. I do have x-ray vision. <laughs> <laughs> do you use it? Hell yeah, I do. All right. Uh, let me see what I can do. Where would this also, be? this place is probably really wicked in the ethereal realm. Yeah, but the true seeing gives you the ability to see into the ethereal plane. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's probably we're probably surrounded by ghosts right now. Okay, so at this point, uh, Muadib, as you look down, you can see an amalgam of different parts of ships just like intercollided with other pieces of ships. Uh, just it's just so much stuff and like sand in between everything else. Uh, but the thing directly below you, or, or relatively below you, the, uh, how far deep does this thing go? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet. Uh, the first, the thing that you can see is uh, what looks to be a kitchen of some sort. Lots of barrels, lots of crates, a lot of tables with a lot of food, a lot of seating, and a, uh, a stairwell that goes even further deeper is what you see here. A chandelier with some rugs, but it looks like a larder or kitchen type area. And I... Do not see him, correct? You do not. <sighs> okay, well, clearly we have to get through the evil shit in here. Uh, I have a passive perception of 30. Got it. So I would like to slowly go in and see if I can figure out where any traps and or skirt doors are. Okay. And um, if everyone wants to help Arantu with that and, and maybe sit down and have some food, um, I need about 10 minutes to make this a little bit easier for me as we go along. Then will assist uh, Bronte with looking for traps and things. Uh, Jesse, can I do some quick mental research? On? Uh, um... If I use Planner Ally, who would show up? That's oh, a good that question. I get that 20. Okay. Look at that. Oh, lovely. What, we what see everything. <laughs> Maude, uh, what would you? Who would you expect would show up? Someone willing to be able to kill a kid. Oh, oh my god. Well, first off, it's a lich. An arch lich, for the record. Oh, so, lich. Bear, so not really a kid. So, yeah, so the, the Abrahamic god shows up? I mean, yeah. it's, you know it's yeah, like I like that. It's, it's like one of those animes. She's a thousand years old, but she looks like a child. Yeah, he's a lich. He's almost like eight hundred years old, but he uh, looks like a child. There, there was no problem with Jesse Lally. calling him me sexy. No Molly here. <laughs> that, that was very much Jesse coming through right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, you could easily call someone, and, and whoever you just deem would want to come could come. I call Mildred. Mildred? Yeah. No. Okay. Why? What do Wait, you want to no. say? No, no, no. <laughs> no. It's it's interesting. Let's do it. Let's no, do please, it. No, please, John. Wait, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> One, I do it. Two, I don't. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I don't even know what, how I DM this. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> All right. I'll just keep that in my back pocket. I gotta do I'm, I'm doing some thinking. As you're uh, pondering in the corner, uh, and although everybody else is in the other room, you uh, hear the sort of room creak for a moment, and Diab transforms into a 
uh, ancient void dragon, the kind that we fought in the back and beginning of the campaign. And uh, just sort of sits there for 10 minutes and then slowly morphs back into his Diav form. Terrifying, but cool. Picture okay. of fate brought to you by Cobalt Press. Thank you, Col <laughs> Cobalt Press. <laughs> oh. Um, said he's not in the room to study that. Also, also by the way, uh, I will be using uh, 80 of my piety piety to remove uh the exhaustion from our two lady companions okay good use of it thank you thank you're you welcome so appreciate it <laughs> don't like All being right. tired As for your perception check, and I haven't forgot about it, um, you can hear into the other room, and you can hear what sounds like uh, snarls and uh, ripping of flesh. But nothing like active, uh, what do you, like, like loud. It's more of like a hanging out, biting some flesh off some bones, you know. Okay, so something big is eating something. Got it. What do you guys do? Sorry, I have to make some changes to my character sheet for um, a minute. So, uh, uh, I, we, I was waiting for you to tell us our perceptions of us looking in the room to figure out what else there is in here that we need to try and either deactivate or avoid so we can continue through this place. If uh, I just explained it. So you just hear the sound of something gnawing on flesh somewhere? Yep. Oh, joy. I am cautiously and slowly going to this door right here. Okay. Uh, Shwa. As you open the door very gently and cautiously. This isn't good. Oh, this is gonna be Oh great. my gosh, that's not bad. 21's not bad. Alright, what's their passive? Let me see. <laughs> Ouch. I've made my choice for planner ally. Uh, their passive. It doesn't say they're passive, but their perception skill is pretty darn high. Uh, so. Roll a perception. It's a plus eighteen. I mean, it is what it is. It <laughs> is what it is. <gasps> they don't see me. <laughs> That's insane. What I'm so sneaky, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me show you what you see. Okay. You see two, count them, two things. Uh, two little, cute little doggies that are currently gnawing on some uh, relatively fresh meat of a, you assume to be a sailor or person of Asligas or Azorona, you're not really positive, uh, but right. in essence, just kind of munching, having a grand old time um, through the cracks here. Let me reveal it for you. Thank you. There we go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> And you can see the door over to the west side as you uh, sneak in. But let me reveal to you where these little little cuties are. <laughs> well, cuties. Can I keep them? You can certainly try. <laughs> that is not cute. Y'all are, are a different way of life. Uh, Jesse, I've made my decision for planar ally. All right, message me. I I did. I'm going with it. All right, we'll find out. Oh shit. Um. Okay. So would this be a we? I would get a surprise round then. 
uh, yeah, we would be able to get a surprise round, or if you want to do something else, you're more than welcome. Uh, Baranti does not like dead things, so I don't think she's really going to care much. Uh, <laughs> um, we are going to... <laughs> I just had this, like, great thought of, like, what if I just cast Regenerate on them? Would they just turn back to normal dogs? <laughs> Only one way to find out. <laughs> Something tells me absolutely not. Uh, okay, I am going to uh, conjure a Pegasus right into the center of them to fight. Oh, boy. Let me get a Pegasus sheet up here. All right, right in between both of them, the Pegasus drops out. Uh, and then the Pegasus. Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He is... Yeah, he only has one. So he's going to use this one. And I will forgive you for that being an alicorn. I don't see. Oh no, there's the horn. Okay. <laughs> you gotta zoom in real far to see the horn. All right, uh, everyone, go ahead and roll initiative. We'll have a <laughs> one surprise round as Bronte says no, and you all rush in, and we all do the thing. Uh, so everyone, rush in. Let me change the music, and we will have a surprise. Everybody, round. rush in. You don't know me. <laughs> Uh, initiative. Oh, hey. Thanks, Sal, for doing that, I guess. All right, just waiting on Diav. Is TT rolling initiative? Uh, no. We must see. No. He gets my Dibba plus. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe he doesn't have... I, th I thought it looks like his wingtip was a horn, but maybe he doesn't have a horn. All right, um, Bronte, how fitting. You go first. Yeah. You summon the Pegasus. The Pegasus does a wacko, uh, does a 10 points of damage, yeah? Yeah, to the top one. Beautiful. Uh, okay, and then, uh, since I have a sheet up, I'll do that again to the same one, since he has, uh, what's it called? Since he goes on my turn anyway, 25, eat bludgeoning. They, you know, they don't do that much. Uh, I'm gonna come over here. And then I am going to, uh, attack with me sword. 29.32. Yep, we'll fit. Tell me the full amount. Uh, it's, so, uh, do they are they affected by lightning? Lightning or radiant? What'd you say? Lightning. Are they affected by light? Indeed, they are. Okay, so the first one's going to be twenty-eight, and the second one is going to be eighteen. The eight and eighteen. Anything else? No, that's the bonus action, action and movement. Neneve. I'm guessing the boat's too small for my dragon friend. Uh. Where there's a will, there's a way. We need a bigger boat. <laughs> if you rush yeah. in, I will allow you to transform into a dragon, but like be kind of a small dragon. If you rush in and run. Well, a young she's, dragon. She's going, yeah, she's going to uh, rush in in wild shape into her deep dragon friend, but it's going to be a young one because she has seen one grow up, so she knows what that is. She's a back to her dragon. Perfect. Back to her dragon was the name of my band in high school. No. <laughs> and then, I don't know. That was her action. That was her action. So technically, that would be her turn. 
Destroy. Aren't you a moon druid? Isn't that a bonus action? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moon druid. So, as her action, she's near multi attack on this one. Sure. She's going to make one bite. Jump. Go chomp, and then slash, and come on, you computer, listen to me here, and slash. It is immune to poison, so it's going to ignore that. Uh, 15, 8, and 7, 15, 15, 30, anything else? Nope, that's for sure. All right. Bite, chomp, slash, all oh, that's great. Maud Dib, it is your turn with TT. What are you doing? Uh, we go on 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I cannot see through a wall. You see the butt of a deep dragon. <laughs> I will hold my action until I can see something I can kill. All right. If you if you can move through the deep dragon, it, like uh, did you say you had thirty already? Yeah. yeah okay. And I can't see through the wall. All right. Got it. Got it. Uh, all right. The uh, Ch Charnel is that how you pronounce it? Charnel. Uh, I'll take this your one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this one right here is going to bite the Pegasus. The one in the north is going to bite the Pegasus. Holy hell! It's Nineteen to hit. I think 19, yeah, 19 definitely hits. And it's gonna bite him again. These guys hit hard. This is straight yeah. out of the book, by the way. I did not make these. These are straight eight, from Epic Legacy, so blame eight. them. This might, hold please, this might actually just kill the Pegasus. Awesome. This, yeah, it does. This Chanel Hound is going to, uh... Oh, I can't remove the Pegasus. is going to bite Bronte no. and then bite Bronte again. That one will bite. Uh, 38 piercing. <laughs> Ooh. All right. And then it's also going to peel 32 points of necrotic damage that you took. It's going to heal that necrotic damage. And this guy is also going to heal that, and he's back up to 500. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, spider. All right. We are going to go... So there. And I'm going to thwack this thing, hopefully killing it. We'll find out. Spider, can you see its health? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, miss, miss, hit, hit. With an extra Plus 12 eight. points of damage. And then... 37, 39. And then I'm going to hit one more time with a double, double whammy. Go for it. 17 times 2 is 34. Yes. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it. Diav. Uh, Diav pulls a old pair of reading glasses out of his pocket and breaks them in half. Yeah, then walks over <laughs> here. Two, four, five, six. And I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, dash for our action. We'll end up back here. That'll right, Bronte. Uh, wisdom saving throw for both of them, please. Ooh boy. Failed pass. Thirty. Look at that. Uh, so whoever failed is turned and needs to start booking it the fuck away from me. Because I was. Uh, I'm assuming their C CR is higher than four. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> They're not dead outright, but... Did they both fail? No. 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 Uh, Silvery Barb's on the one that passed. Ooh. And he fails. So they both just start running away from us as quickly as humanly possible. All right. What's the save on that? Like, how do they get out of it? Just uh, a minute. So... Just a minute. No. Uh, let me see. Sorry. It is... Can't willingly move into a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. Uh, for action, it can only use dash action or try to escape from effect that prevents it from moving. There's nowhere to remove. The creature can use the dodge action. Do you think that... So it takes a turn for a minute or until it takes any damage. So I recommend we just let them go and then shut the door behind him. But they're, you look they're, at the big they're compelled deep dragon. is the problem. <laughs> they're compelled, which is the problem. So we could focus one down while the other one runs around like an idiot. Okay. Yeah. So that that's all that that so it lasts for a minute or until they take damage. So sounds good. All right, and heals. <laughs> uh, no, that's my turn. All right. Neneve. Yeah, so... Wolf dog friends are running around now? Yeah, they look, they look like they're very, very aggressively trying to look for a way to escape. And Diav shouts, Focus on one of them! Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, my... my it's like God spoke through. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right God do, did. <laughs> do not make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to say that. Multi attack again on this one since it's lower health. I'm at it. So, bite. Chomp. Chomp. And then, come on, computer. Slash. And. Come on, computer. Thank you. Slash. Minus 35. Anything else? Ooh, natural 20. Nope. That's it. All right. Equals 1 plus 5 equals 6. Interesting. All right. Cool. Minus 6. And what did? Here, hit the one without the sparkles. <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking through. I have. Oh, also, Jesse, sorry, this is random, but could you uh, either send me or like put in Discord uh, what the little characters are that you got extra of, what they're like called, and like, can I get them in this in the marketplace? Oh, those, yeah, yeah, no, they're free. They're free online. I just googled them. Oh. I don't remember okay. where I got them, but I could send you the file after this. Remind me. That would be nice. Thank you. Because they're cool. I was like, I want more. <laughs> Sorry. What did? Uh, did we use necrotic damage on them yet? Nope. I don't think so. And my guess is that probably doesn't affect them. Well, don't you be putting things, things be... into his head. A lot of undead things That's... can still be affected I mean... by necrotic. That was already in my head. <laughs> okay. Um, I need two con saves from that non sparkly boy. 31. First one saves. He's got to oh, do another one. I heard two. Sorry. Oop. Uh, Second 25. one does not save. 15 damage. 15 damage. Minus 15. Cannot retake reactions. Anything else? Or is it a first attack at disadvantage? Uh, first attack is a disadvantage. Yep. That's it. Cool. Charnel Hound. First attack is going to be at disadvantage. Uh, what does it want to do? Ooh, what does it want to do? I'm baring its, my teeth at it. 
These things are not intelligent. All right, cool. They're going to go. It's going to go after Bronte. I mean, you're the one who's yeah. in front of it. First one with disadvantage. Second one, regular. So 21 to hit Bronte. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think that does hit, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a okay. 24. Sorry. All of those damage is going to deal you yeah. in. Uh, just ignore that last one. It's a Got 21 it. and 24. So 17 plus 24 plus 23 plus 24. And that 24 plus 24, 48. It's going to heal plus 48. Beautiful. And Spider, back to you. All right. Yeah, go ahead and start rolling. Let's uh, let's get that back where we start rolling on like the turn before. Uh, so I got an at twenty. You got an at twenty. Do you have a Vorpal I sword? I get to decapitate. You get yeah, to decapitate. Yeah, he's a fifty. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the first one in like I don't know ever? Ever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Spider. you did one during the Void Dragon at the beginning, but it was too big to decapitate. That's right. I do remember that. <laughs> Spider, you've had, I don't even know how many sessions when you've never got I know. a natural 20. Well, now it's your time, Bates. Spider, how would you like to decapitate this Charnel Hound? Um, there's going to be a lot of really showy uh, swordsmanship and then stab, 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 and then just swish, 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 and then chop the head off clean and clean and simply. Like, All right. Like, not even trying, thinking it wasn't going to work, and then it does, and it's just like, oh my god, I, I decapitated it. Oh my god, oh my god, Bronte, did you see? As, <laughs> as you do look at this, uh, as, as you do look at this creature, uh, you realize that it can survive without its head. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Killing <laughs> <laughs> Jesse now. <laughs> All right, Spider, anything else? Uh, she's just going to be doing a little happy dance. Diav. Uh, I'm just going to release two magic missiles from my uh, ring of amplification and uh, hit the other uh, puppy for 146 arcane damage. 146. Minus 146. Beautiful. Anything else? That is Alright. He is no longer it is no longer turned. Turn. Back to Bronte. Nice. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, we are going to guiding boat. Zip puppy. Forty five radiant. And it is glowing. Minus forty five. Next attack has advantage. I Anything else? It uh, yes. Uh, I also get to use my second attack now because of my epic things. I can cast a spell and do a physical attack. 28. Nope, 31. That hits. Oh, that's right. Uh, so that's going to be uh, 21. Minus 21. Anything else? Uh, no. Wait, uh, bonus action. I am going to, uh, drink a potion of healing because I somehow still have them in my inventory. All right, Neneve, it is your turn. Yes. Jesse, could mm -hmm. you delete my token and put me back on so I can see if I can get my bars working again? Delete token. But we and love him. I'm just going to grab you from an another page. I think this was pre-level up, so just make sure that the st statistics stay all the same things. Cool, thank you. All right. Uh, AC is 22. Only that last claw will hit with a eight points of damage. Anything else, Deep Dragon? No. All right. Maudib, it's you. I need two con saves. Uh, Turns out I am really bad at enclosed spaces. <laughs> 27 and 14. Both will hit, L and that's going to be 29, 28 points of damage. 
Anything else? Um, nope, that's it. All right, this doggo is absolutely going to. It saw <laughs> Spider chop off the head of its companion, and is going to run over to Spider, do a death howl. Spider, make a wisdom save, please. That's a fail. I'm going to do an indomitable. Go for it. Nice. Oh, did it see? Oh, there it is. Thank you. 18 still fails. Anything else? Oh, uh, no, it's not an attack. Never mind. <laughs> Can you be frightened, uh, Spider? Uh, I don't think. No, I can. All right. You have been frightened and is now going to attack you. Hey. All right, really quick. Oh, fuck. A 17 hits. <laughs> no, not it's hit. not. Oh, this was about to wreck your shit up. A creature uh, that is. Uh, so, uh, in addition, attacks against creature frightened by the Charnel Hound deal damage as though they are critical hits. Bobby didn't hit. Yeah. A creature critically hit by the Chanel Hound must make a constitution saving throw or have a limb torn off. It was going to be so much fun. All right. Chanel Hound, that is its turn. Spider, it is your turn. You are frightened. Uh, so all attacks have disadvantage while the source of fear is within <coughs> your vicinity. That's fine. All of those, one of them will miss, and the rest will hit, I think. All right, 27, uh, and then 41, I'm going to do one more 53. hit for my bonus action. Plus uh, 34, 43, right? Yes. Cool. Anything else? Uh, nope, that'll be it. Bronte. Bronte. Hello? Bronte. Uh-oh, did we lose Jeremy and Ree? Uh oh. Weird. I got I got kicked out. Oh, well, yeah, we kicked you. We didn't oh, okay. here anymore. No, I said Diop, do you have almost five hundred HP? Uh Yes I do. Uh, because he's a white oh. dragon. Oh, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go right there. <laughs> and we are gonna attack it. And that is going to be uh, 23 for the first one and 26 for the second. All right. So 49, 59. All right, cool. Anything else? Is me action. Uh, bonus action. I am going to uh, Mass Healing Word. All right, Mass Healing Word, and you can do that. Neneve, go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> yep. Uh -huh. Weird. Actually, I'm after Spider, but since you deleted me. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Chomp. Slash. Natural 20. Getting that natural 20 on the claws. All right. Anything else? Slash. Um, no, that's uh, not. All right, Diav. Everybody in the room takes 27 healing, if you can take it. 
21 arcane damage, and then uh, 74 arcane damage from a magic at the same time. How would you like to kill the Charnel Hound? Uh, yeah, I was just like snapping his fingers and uh, missiles are just generating from his chest where almost like a, uh, it seems like almost like a little black hole forms in the middle of his chest and the energy just comes pouring out from somewhere in the astral realm. As the Charnel Hound just explodes with the arcane energy, uh, Jesse wants to see if I could have ripped Spider's limbs off. Let me see for a okay. minute. I had something for that. Oh, it it would have been terrible. Whatever. <laughs> Boring. All right. You guys destroy the Chanel Hounds, and there is, of course, a door behind you. Uh, Baranti kind of waits till everyone's turning towards the door, and I wrap up some of the Chanel Hound bones to bring back to Barry. <laughs> Barry would be so happy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. You know, like giving a dog a bone, but I'm giving him a oh, bone oh. from a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just feel like he'll really like it. That's hilarious. Uh, can we take ten quick minutes so I can cast a spell? Yeah, go for it. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna leave as Dragon uh, just sure looks at Bronte like, what the heck? Uh, Why do you want those? Uh, I in I in uh, Nadine's head. I will say, uh, I kind of paint a picture of our bone golem Barry, Barry who's a very sweet, um, albeit uh, not entirely intelligent boy, who was created by my niece Katarina. You are um, mixing so. campaign. Oh wait! Oh gosh! Where, would Baranti know? Furry, I guess then. Y'all met him briefly during the. Uh, oh, the big the war, the big fight. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So he is uh, the child of a relatively new friend, and if I ever see them again, I would very much like to give Barry a gift, and he will love these. As a bone golem, he eats bones. Go figure. Okay. I always think Barry, like Katarina, has Barry because Katarina turns into things yeah. like Barry. So in my brain, it makes the most sense that she would have Barry. I'm like, yeah, that tracks. Just for flavor, uh, when the ten minutes is up and the spell is cast, I was gonna open the door and the uh, door handle just sort of comes off in his hand. <laughs> and he's like, oh. Um, Whoops, sorry about that. And it's going to open up the door manually. Turns to be very normal. Uh, what spell are you casting? Uh, planar ally. I'm go. summoning my god. Who is oh. your god? Please describe them. I'm already here, Brad. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that would be great if I could remember to do stuff like that. Uh, How I fucked know, up would it be if another Diab just showed up? <laughs> that would Very be pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know, Jesse. You have to describe them since you made them up. It is Javis, Javis, Javista. Uh, yeah. All right, hold Jesse, on, Jesse. Tell us exactly my... what Parker Van Horn looks like. No, it's yeah. not him. Uh, <laughs> all right, let me go to the gods. Uh, Javista, the god of quick wit and ambition. One of the few mortals who became a god originating in Tar Tartarus. Uh, she is the god uh, who tamed the mood, Vian. Due to her powerful magic, she focused the orbit of Vian around Tartarus in a controlled manner. Uh, Vian's movements have been regular and predictable ever since. Generally chaotic good. All right. You summon your deity uh, to the plane of shadow. It is. Would it be the deity or an avatar of the deity? How does Planar Ally work? What is like the stipulations? I feel like it would be an avatar because yeah, I you. Agree. I mean, summon, summoning a deity would be. Yeah, the like entity, summon deity. <laughs> yeah, the entity sends a celestial elemental or a fiend loyal to it to aid you. Oh. So I'm asking them for help. What level spell is this? Six. Six. All right. Sure. Cool. I will get you. Oh, I wish you would have told me ahead of time because I have a book for this. Um, 
but for now... I didn't think I'd be pissed off by a child arch lich. Or... Right. <laughs> well, that's that's what you get for not preparing for all the stupid scenarios that you knew Jesse was going to give us. <laughs> hey, I'm usually the one who puts us in stupid scenarios, so that's actually you know what I you're not wrong. I think I back Jesse. He is right. He is normally the stupid one. <laughs> it's smart, stupid. It seems smart until it actually happens, and then it's horrifically stupid. All right. That's weird. It doesn't uh, specify a CR that I can. It see. doesn't. But I'm gonna I'm gonna guesstimate it with a with a level six kind of a spell. Um, hey, I am my god's number one fan. <laughs> fan boy, uh, you are nothing but gonna, a simp. <laughs> I was gonna say sugar baby, but that works too. <laughs> uh, as you guys watch, a creature emerges from, uh, in essence, the spell that you cast as a deva emerges and and comes down uh <laughs> just appears before you and says hello mod long time no see i thought we had a date oh there's other sorry yeah how may i serve you uh are you okay with killing technically a child uh no obviously not they're not a it's real a, child it's a lich an arch lich, lich. Child. A pure evil creature who also just so happens to be young. Well, they're technically like 811. At least. But they look like a child, so it's kind of weird. Show me where they are and they shall be eradicated. I shall smite them with my mighty smiter. <laughs> shall smite them with my rod. Um, I don't know. Uh, there are they're below us, right, guys? Or somewhere? Yes. They sh yeah. I think he sunk into the floorboards before he decided to fill the room with toxic fumes. Yes. And below. Diav, you open the door, I assume? Yeah. Or try to? Uh, Diav, are you sure you don't want somebody less penetrable to do that? Uh, I'm, I'm fine for now. Um, and I'm gonna... Just, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just open the door. I wasn't in the first. Or hide behind the door. Uh, so, as you guys, shields a hoe. <laughs> as you guys uh, continue to crawl forward, uh, the deep uh, dragon, are you forming back into a small person or not? Um, deep dragon is going to use uh change shape all right change to... shape into a humanoid yeah back like into a humanoid creature sounds good as you change shape back into a uh drinking water is good brad uh as you change water change water as you change back into a humanoid creature um you guys can see in the next room it looks like a section of the boat was blown open by another ship Again, this is a amalgamation of ships on top of ships on top of ship on ship action, uh, as well as a ladder leading downward. However, as you look toward this ship, there is a wall of water that seemed to uh, lead. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because there's a lot of debris, but it leads into the other ship. Oh, right. The magic holding the water at bay is only for the ship. Indeed. But if you wanted to step into the water, you are more than welcome to try. Um, Mod, since Mod's okay. AFK, can he see anything X-ray below that? I think that only lasts for a minute. Oh, I thought he had it like an at will thing. No, I think it's only like once for a minute. Um, standing like here, can I see into uh, the ship down here? Uh, give me a perception check as you try to peer through all the. The darkness and the the wreckage. By, and... by the way, my new pass perception is twenty seven. Ooh. With that twenty seven, uh, you do see in that ship uh, there are a lot of uh, chains, cages. It looks to be the brig of this the other ship in the water. Um, 
and you do see a, a few skeletons, a few bones lying around. Um, yeah. Thoughts, everyone? Do we want to try and uh, see if there's anything in the hold of this ship or move across to the other ship? I mean, we can certainly try, just we might want to tread lightly. God knows what's hiding in there. Or down there. Agreed. Um, I, I, I say down. Down it is. Yeah, just down. Okay. Can I see what I'm doing? Thank you. <laughs> Alright, you guys stealthing? Yeah. yeah. I love you all. Right. Be God first. Damn. <laughs> Diav, as you grab hold of one of the uh, pieces of wood that you thought was very secure, it just releases and you <laughs> face plant straight into... As soon as I hit the ground, greater invisibility. <laughs> it's it's it splinters to the face and to the mouth um and uh by the way jack beefed it today and bit his lip and it was Aww. so much blood oh. he was fine but <laughs> like it looked really bad <laughs> but that's exactly what happened to you lots of blood in your in your lips and stuff but you quickly cast invisibility um as i rolled a 16 and I 16. think I think my plus is a plus eleven on my stealth, so twenty-seven. I still have a scar when I bit my lip when I was like five. It's bad. Yes. <laughs> it, it makes it look like a stick in the lip. All right. So as you guys continue going forward, uh, really quick, uh, there was something I was going to add. Uh, Brad, your X-ray vision. How long does that last? Oh, it is long gone. It's ten minutes. Okay, I thought so. Um, all right. When you said down, did you mean south or down the ladder? Ladder. Down the ladder. Okay, yeah, I figured I'm a, ladder. I'm a big dumb dumb. All right, cool, cool, cool. If You're I not big dumb dumb. I don't talk dumb, to my dumb. friend about like that. I don't like when you talk to my friend like that. Okay, does TT really only have one HP? Hell yeah, he does. Plot armors for shits and giggles. Uh, but you have to get through all of Mod Dib's health before you hit Mati. Get all of ours. Shield. All right. He's not Gotta a human. <laughs> Humanoid shield. As you guys sneak down, even though uh, Diav just kind of tripped down a little bit, uh, you kind of wait a moment, but nothing happens. There is a door to the southwest, uh, and you notice something about this level. It seems like these lanterns are just a little bit more dim than the level above. Uh, a lot more dim, I should say, actually. Uh, like, uh, Arcana, are they, like, being affected by some kind of magics? Or is it sure. just because we're getting deeper? Arcana check. Plus 23! Someone roll me a d20, I trust you. My dog is pooping right now. 11. Plus 23 Plus 23. Is 34? Mm-hmm. Ah, damn. All right. As you uh, kind of listen to everything, uh, I'm going to get a thing for the Deva really quick. There we go. Brad, that's yours. Um, as you guys listen, and Bronte, you kind of feel the area around you. You have not felt anything like this before. Um, you've heard about it. You've definitely heard about it and you've read about it. But you believe that you are in what is known as a necropolis. Uh, fun. Not fun. <laughs> so among the most fearsome and dangerous of domains is the dead, dreaded necropolis. Within their vile borders... Undead gather in tremendous numbers, and necromantic power flows like water. A necropolis domain is an undead paradise, which is hell for most other beings. Everything within these domains is dead or dying. While it is, it may seem initially appealing, 
to necromancers and similar masters of undeath. A, necrop a necropolis is so inhospitable, inhospitable to all others who cling to the feeble spark of life. Over time, these areas become a terrifying bastion of evil and darkness, spawning new undead monstrosities and gathering powerful creatures looking to influence the hordes of mindless undead and death. Necropolis domains always appear where areas of large-scale death and decay have occurred. War-torn battlefields, ancient castles ravaged by diseases, and sites of mass extinction events are all prime candidates for to form a necropolis. Uh, you would know that it has uh, multiple different features. Uh, you know the creatures already are undead, undeath, things like that. Um, you would know that the properties of a necropolis, a living flesh and blood creature that dies within the necropolis domain, rises as an undead within one hour. A creature is so risen has the type of undead, yada, yada, yada. Uh, eternal decay, living creatures in the area rot away as though they are dead. Whenever uh, they finish a long rest, they gain one level of a condition called decaying. And you know that areas of a scourge is called scourge light. Areas of bright light in the domain are instead always dim. Uh, okay. Since uh, we're down here and nothing came at us, I'm going to drop greater invisibility. And I'm just going to tap Baranti with my staff and uh, cast protection from evil and good on her. Against Undead. Out of all the people, I feel like she's the least one who needed it. <laughs> well, yeah. I feel like she's going to be a target. Ah. Uh, I am at least still dimly glowing. Yeah, and it's always it's important divine. to keep your healer up, no matter how much health they have. Uh, can we take a quick 10-minute break for a short rest? Again? We just did that. <laughs> You guys <laughs> did. I didn't. I was spelling up. I so we didn't take an hour, though. You're asking me to take an hour to get, like, HP or something? Uh, no, I need ten minutes. Uh, actually, I need one minute. You could have one minute. Not a cool. second. Uh, one minute, I get all my spell slots back. Including my Mystic Arcana. Yes. All right, sweet. Uh, as you take a minute to have a wank and a biscuit, uh, <laughs> you guys watch as <clears throat> as someone pops their head out of the floorboards as they say, just what do you think you're doing? Waiting and taking your time? What is this? What am I? Just a laughing stock to you? Do you want the honest answer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, kind of. We're loud. We're tired. Let us have a break. Uh, at this point, he is going to uh, point at uh, Spider and Spider make a con save. Uh, does she fail? Uh, yes, she fails. I am going to burn... Oh, Jesus. Uh, how bad yeah. does she fail? Uh, ignore that death ray. That's wrong. Uh, in terms of how bad, uh, she rolled a 25 and the DC is a 31. I would like to retract my statement. All right. Um, hold uh, on. Can I attempt to counterspell this? Absolutely, you may. So it's a ninth level spell. Indeed, it is. Okay. Um, that means I have to roll a. No, it's a seventh level. It can't be up kit. Dread, no. dread necromancy. Uh, okay. I just have to roll nine or higher then. A counterspelled. All right. <clears throat> when a creature fails the first saving throw it attempts against each spell uh, cast by Nikolai, he can choose to curse the target with a vengeful spirit for one minute, which appear as ghostly visages swirling around the target. When a creature cursed in this manner next deals damage to Nikolai, the haunting ends, 
and the creature takes yada 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 yada. All right, cool. Uh, you're gonna see shrouds around you, spider. As Hold on. Uh, she didn't yep. fail, because I counter. No, I know. Okay. You, yeah, counter spelled. Oh, I guess it's gone. Yeah, you're right. All right, <laughs> Nikolai just says, "Well, this is not fun. Hurry up!" And he <laughs> descends the floorboards even further. Oh my god. Someone's impatient. They're a child, what do you expect? Mm. Yeah, right. Eight years old. Years to not At be a least. child. He's not a child. Like, At this point, grown up it's... that hasn't grown up yet. <laughs> well, said it better than I could. I'm just going to say this right now. Just because he's been around for 800 years doesn't mean that brain of his is developed. Facts. All right, you guys headed to the, the door to the southwest. Deep. All right. Yes. How flammable yes. was an underwater ship? Uh, <laughs> we'll find out. DM, quick okay. question: How long has it been since I cast Freedom of Movement? Uh, it's probably only been about 13, 15 minutes. Okay, good. How long does it last? An hour. Beautiful. Uh, there you go. What you, the, were you going to say? Uh, asking if this vessel is flammable is kind of an important question. Uh, you can do the own your own mental math on that. There's oxygen in here, so... Yeah, uh, but it's also underwater. Flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried ignite. I am lighting this bitch on fire as we walk. Okay. Being professionally on fire. All right. I guess that it's going to like burn away the wood and there will be a shell of water surrounding it so that like it won't go past that. I don't know how it'll work. We'll go with it. Anyway, moving forward, uh, you guys look down a long and narrow hallway, and I need to get my notes for this. You guys look down a long and narrow hallway with lots of pictures of the Faust family, uh, distant and, and close. Uh, and you can notice that there are uh, names, like, you know, plaques, I guess. And you see the names of uh, people such as Nikolai Van Faust. You see the names, let me find it. You see the names Ophelia Van Faust, uh, Silfi, Silfi, Silfi Van Faust. Uh, you see, I'm trying to remember the grandpa's name. Don't remember the grandpa's name. Grandpa, father, etc., etc. But it seems like the. Hap, hap. Yeah, sure. Uh, the uh, uh, sister and mother of Van Faust are also depicted, okay. but there's uh, there's plenty others, not just those. Are they hot, and are any of them pinups? Uh, <laughs> I will get you AI art of those, and you can decide for yourself. I would like. Can we save some of the photos to sell when we get back to Tartarus? They seem very well put together. I mean, sure, they're they're like pieces of art. Well, yeah, also famous family that disappeared, kind of. Yeah, absolutely. You you <laughs> estimate that something like this, a noble family that disappeared under mysterious odds and then their home became a necropolis, uh, you estimate that these pictures could, could fetch you a good 500 gold pieces each. Well, you guys are down for looting the tomb? <laughs> really, with how that little snarky bitch was the, acting towards me. Thank you, Dioff. Um... Okay, uh, using uh, perception to see if we're running into any obvious traps. All right, give me a perception. Oh, that's the wrong one. That was all oh. caps perception. Yeah. <laughs> what like perception? <laughs> really? Karen? Oh, it did worse, but you know, whatever. All right. 
Uh, Neneve and uh, Bronte, you guys watch and look as Maud Dib is like taking out a picture here and there. Um, Bronte, one plaque catches your eye. The name and the picture of Parker Van Horn. No, oh, much, fuck much younger than what you remember him to be. But his name and picture is there nonetheless. Distant uncle, Parker Van Horn. Uh, eccentric uncle, right? <laughs> can I? Does the does the picture seem to be trapped or anything, or can I take it? Take the picture off. Funny you should say that. As Maud is taking these pictures down, uh, the trap is thus activated, and <laughs> that is going to be. The blessings from the family. Grotesque oh, hands cute. of everyone in the pictures reach out from the pictures to touch the group. Everyone is going to need a, a dexterity saving throw, please. This really hands? gives. What'd you say, Maude? Are they are they physical hands? They indeed are. How would they like being on fire? You could certainly try, but you got to make uh, a dex save first. Hands are on fire. Yeah, if you them. save them, technically they're not touching you. Yeah, you like drop them really quickly. They're within 15, as long as they're within 15 feet of me, it doesn't matter. So well, then should we are... all be away from you then? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, uh, you no, were I like handling, change. you were handling a picture and then one guy, one of the uncles or, or grandparents just like reach out and grab you. Every family's um, got a touchy uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then... Uh, waiting on okay diav also did it cool so diav bronte neneve is fine and spider is fine so diav bronte and wad you all and as you guys feel something within you uh i need to see what kind of a roll this is because it's this fancy roll mm. mega da, 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 la 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 Reading, 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 reading. All right, cool. Uh, everyone, uh, Bronte, Diav, and Moad, make a D6, please. And hope it's not a six. Well, now you put it out there, Jesse. Oh, okay. Moad, as you get touched, uh, yeah. your, body, your body rapidly withers as, the, as a cyst forms on your metallic body and it consumes your life force reducing uh you to a hunched debilitated state uh you cannot take bonus actions or reactions and have epic disadvantage on strength dexterity and constitution saving throws you have been you fucked around and you found out I'm gonna um, I'm gonna copy and paste that so that you know exactly how badly you fucked up. As for I'm taking pictures. Uh one, two, three, four, five. As for you two, Diav and Bronte, the mm -hmm. creature's head visibly swells as a cyst relocates to your brain. Nice. The creature is charmed and has epic disadvantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. I am immune to charm. This is an epic charm. Are you epically immune? Uh, no. Legendarily immune. Mm, that's a good question. All right, cool. Ignore the charm, but you still have epic disadvantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Uh, does mine count as dis disease? Uh, most certainly it does. This is all a disease. The cyst is a complex epic disease that can take many forms. Uh, yada yada as an action. An epic creature can attempt a constitution saving throw uh, at the end of a uh, short rest. Uh, once yada 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 yada. Uh, if you are immune... Okay, so if the creature is immune to diseases, it is not immune to ne the necrotic cyst. But you make your, your uh, roll with epic advantage. So you, hey, sir... Mwadib, roll a dexterity save one more time, and Bronte, you, uh, you can roll a dexterity save one more time. Okay. Oh, you've got shit at me. Oh. 
I'll let you roll a con save because it's more applicable here. That's not much better. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a no. That's. I'm sorry. What was the the roll con? Con or dex, whichever you prefer. I think uh, oh. con is probably more appropriate for you guys. They're the same. How bad did I? Say? Oh, Jesus. Very nice. Oh. What's Bronte, you are it? not necrotically uh, cyst. Blown up cyst. Okay, great. And wad. <laughs> Sorry, say again, wad. Uh, what was the um, save I needed to be? Uh, it is a 25. Oh, yeah. God damn. Or a natural 20. Uh, so that is going to be on a short rest. You may make your s another constitution saving throw. But at the end of a short rest. Or a long rest. But otherwise, you have this cyst in you. Diav, yours probably manifest in like a bulge on the side of your head. And Maud, uh, yours is probably just like on your chest cavity. Can the Deva help us out? Uh, you tell me. You're controlling the Deva. Uh, I do not have a stat block for the Deva. I just sent it to you. Oh. When I clicked on I'll it, I just opened it up the... again. No, I just opened up as the... Does it open up? All right. Yep, there we go. Does First say time. freed from any curse, disease, poison, blindness, or death. Yeah, this is made without Epic. Any, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can be of assistance. If you so choose, I can touch you with my healing touch. There's always on one uncle. <laughs> yes, As he begins to touch you, uh, he says, I think I will need some assistance. A medicine check of a DC-25 should be able to help locate the cyst and he target He speaks it. in strange words. <laughs> uh, in essence, if anyone wants to make a medicine check DC-25 to help with the cyst removal. Let me see. He wasted a healing touch on you. You at least heal, but the cyst is not gone, Wadib. If you want to try again, uh, I can uh, do this for... I can add a plus... 10, plus 10 to uh, Ferranti's medicine check. So right. 34. Cool. Maud, you heal 13 plus 18 uh, for a total of 31, and the cyst is removed. As Bronte uh, uses surgical equipment, aka her sword, to cut open your body and get the cyst out. Ew. Uh, I have alchemist have... and poisoner yeah. kit. Okay, I will, I will use something a little less aggressive. <laughs> it's more fun. Or will I? <laughs> uh, the day so did, used... definitely not. Mod did. I use my non-dominant hand. <laughs> <laughs> the Deva has used two of its three healing touches. Just so you're aware. Does and that mean Diav Diav still has? Assist. He still has assist? Okay. Indeed. I'll give you a 9 plus 10. Yeah. Hey! Oh, that was... Damn. Alright, the last healing touch is gone. Diav, you heal for this much, and the cyst is... That was, that was a nice thing you did, Jesse. What? Letting Allowing us cure that an disease. Well, it, it, the disease actually does say, like, a medicine check uh, could help it. Oh, okay. Um, but anyway... Uh, okay, stop touching things. How about that? Otherwise, I'm going to let your brain explode. You were supposed to look out for traps. I'm just I... getting our money's worth of this. Oh, Listen. Sorry. Uh, How about let's not fuck around anymore so we don't have to find out. Thank you. You know what? Nineveh is going to replace your spot on this team, Mondib, if you don't get your shit together. What? <laughs> How much money have we actually earned from doing this? We haven't Nothing. been paid by anybody. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is so an I'm awful, taking our money back. This is an awful <laughs> rental money. <laughs> this is a charity event, people. I don't know what you were expecting. Uh, Bronte, with uh, just like exhaustion written on her face, is going to kick the door in and just fucking walk through. 
as you kick come in the door, out, you see out, wherever you are. You see another, uh, a reminiscent of another uh, boat collapsing into another boat, um, and you you hear TT just go, "Am I treasure?" You are absolutely you are a treasure, treasure. treasure. You yes, but you are treasure. You're you're the treasure of our hearts. We're talking about treasure of our wallets. <laughs> you could sell me. No, no. no. absolutely not. Absolutely. Your family. <laughs> <laughs> Ohana, just to kill, kill TP, and I swear to God, God, I will get on a plane to Jesse's house just to <laughs> knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> I shall call you all my friends. I thought you were going to say mama. <laughs> mama one? Mama Veronti? Mama oh Dio? You can call me Dabbleton. Uh, okay, I... I crouch using my superior eye vision and peer at whatever is down here that I can't actually see because it's big and black. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> As you guys look through, uh, you can see a very large, uh, what looks to be a larder of some sort. Lots of uh, crates and barrels and uh, food on tables and such. As uh, you can hear Nikolai enter your mind's ear. It always interests, interests me when someone else takes pride in their work. Tell me, Soul Keeper. Why do you keep so many of these souls? What do you use them for? Uh, to pry that for my cold, dead carcass. Uh, Veronti's going to cast Detect Magic before we walk into this room. A Actually, challenge. Uh, wait, is this a separate communication, or has he been keeping the same line the whole time? Same line. I call bananas. He's going to have to make a save for this. <laughs> <laughs> I will allow it. All right. Uh, what was it? Con uh, charisma? I can't remember. Yeah, charisma. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, cool. He'll make a save for that. What the hell he you will. you fucking kidding me. <laughs> wow. You know what he hears? You know what he hears? <laughs> what does he hear? <laughs> oh, my God. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Emotional, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> so stupid. You guys look, and you can see uh, Bronte cast detect magic. Bronte, you detect magic coming uh, through the wall uh, to the south as you travel, and then you also detect um, conjuration. Uh, nope, Sound like the food. You do not. Uh, oh. Yeah, what kind of would it be? Let me think. It would be abjuration to the south, oh, okay. like beyond the wall. It is beyond oh, the wall okay. that you can see. Um, and then that's it for now. Okay. Um, so hatch seems to be the only way to go other than whatever this pipe thing is. Looks like a pipe or a cannon. Uh, it looks like a pipe, some sort of like a drainage. Like you chuck the oil that you use for cooking. I don't know. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Are we supposed to look uh, in here? Okay, no? calm down. I <laughs> it's just really he just like is so excited to see us because he's been trying to get a contractor down here, but nobody will. <laughs> he's like, please tell me you know how to wire. <laughs> Can I inspect like the wall of this ship and like right over here to see if either of them has like a false plank that leads into another area? Sure. As you feel around the walls, give me an investigation check. We do still have true sight. And as you get an investigation check, uh, you you feel around all the walls, and you are very certain there is no such wall. Gotcha. All right, kids, let's go. Wee. But you do with your investigation of thirty three. Uh, you do see like uh, a, a gentle light coming out of this pipe. Uh, it's pretty long. But it, you don't like it's, it. You have no idea how to like view through it to see what is on the other side. Um, how but there's wide is it? Uh, maybe th three inches. Okay, so it's a tiny pipe. Yeah, I mean it's, it's uh, that's pretty average, right? I mean it's like an average size pipe. It's pretty. It's huge, even actually. Yeah. How? Okay. All right. <laughs> how big is a tiny creature? 
Uh, depends on the creature. A rat could probably fit through. Uh, how about uh, rot? Maybe before rot. her protein era. <laughs> yeah, seriously, she's pretty beefy. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what is she technically uh, classified as? Tiny. But like, what is she? What is her creature? Is she like a fairy? What is she? Uh, celestial. Does it? Does she have any kind of uh, a sub type? Uh, tiny celestial. That is tiny it. celestial. Yeah, that's she all can it says. die. It's tiny celestial fae or fiend. And what is her thing called? Epic Familiar. Justice the Familiar. Epic Familiar. It's in the Epic Legacy handbook. Yep. But it should just be the regular Familiar, but supercharged. Hence, write it out. Tinkerbell. <laughs> yeah. Any, I just need to know... Oh, what... rot. Okay, you know what? F it. D100... Above a uh, above a thirty, I'll allow it. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> she gets in, and she, that those those she's just too thick. She is just too thick. Just can't it's get that like booty through. From the, it's like the movie when she's trying to fit through the keyhole. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. What are you guys doing? And you've sighs and just keto. comes back over here. Do you really want me to wild shape into something that could fit through there? Can we just please go the obvious way and just get done with this child that is toying with us? I'm uh, just really I quick. Like in, in Town Square, I'm going to drop a, an answer to this question about how, tiny, how big tiny creatures are. This is the most in-depth math mathing of D, D that i've read in a oh, don't read God. it right now it's gonna take too long but okay, okay. <laughs> i thought there was a size chart i think i have it in my in yeah. like a dm yeah but somebody screen. somebody uh, like mathed it because generally the things are like like an a medium-sized creature can be anywhere from like yeah. five foot to seven foot like that's a huge difference yeah so Tiny is two and a half by two and a half. That's how much space they, but like we could be seven feet tall and take up a five foot square or four feet tall and take up a five foot square. So that's why the whole thing goes into like how big is it actually if it only takes up a two and a half foot square. So, so is this raccoon in a human penis size or? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm like uh, a spider, a tiny little spider. Can a spider fit through there? Easily. All right, you go through, Neneev. Yeah, Neneev wild shapes into a spider and will climb up and climb through. All right. As you do, you can see. Oop. I want this one. There we go. Oh, no. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Jesse's been reading nursery rhyme. <laughs> uh, you guys can see, or at least the spider can see. Uh as you walk into this room, it looks to be a a sort of a trophy room. You can see oh, on the walls is a golden beholder uh, staring down at a golden dragon that seems to be locked in a uh, a game of like stare down. Uh, you see a on a pedestal a golden shell with a golden pearl. Uh, you see lots of tables with uh, glass. Uh, and uh, glass uh, things that you can see like necklaces, chains, bracelets, etc. Inside these boxes, uh, there are some boxes that are completely closed and locked. There's one box that is completely open and uh, nothing is in it. Uh, and then you see what looks to be a strange table with six holes, a white ball, and uh, 12 red balls with two long sticks with chalk at the end of the sticks. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what you see here. And I'm guessing like mental, like the mental link is still between all of them. Sure. Yeah, you're you're within 200 feet. Okay. She is uh, relaying all of this through. Uh, through um, that, that, link. that sounds very trappy. Yeah. Let's let's not. It looks very sketch. 
I'm just going to okay. say that from my little eight-legged self's perspective. Jesse knows how, or uh, sorry, God knows how uh, greedy we are. So maybe we should just carry on. Then Eve is going to crawl back out of the out of the tube, and <laughs> as she does so, uh, the spider you see that little tiny spider just jump out of the tube, and half halfway through, uh, shaves back into herself. Bronte, as you walk uh, nearby um, and uh, corroborating with Neneve's story, uh, you did detect uh, like a like a holy magic, uh, godlike magic, deity magic coming from the shell and the pearl. Because you still had to detect magic up. We can yeah. always check it out again once we've the pearl in the shell didn't look like a half of a sphere that we might be looking for, is it? No, it is not. <laughs> I mean, it looks spherical in shape, but... Uh, we can always return once we've dealt with what we've come here for. Yeah, I'll leave it up to you guys. I just... That's what's in there. <laughs> okay, you guys continue going further? Yep. Allons-y. Yep. All right. Everyone gather okay, around yeah. here. So I can copy and paste you. Uh, let's see. And uh, who's going first? Who's going last? I shall go first. I first. shall go middle. I'll be on the tail. The spider's on the tail? With Maud yes. burning shit. With Maud Dib burning shit. As you guys go in, Maud Dib sends one last firebolt or fireball around. Um, and Spider. Oh, no. I'm on fire. You're just on fire. Got it, got it. Uh, Spider, as you uh, are behind Maud, uh, you take one last look behind, and uh, you can hear uh, Nikolai just raise his voice in your ear alone as he says, Pitiful fool. Plays with souls and doesn't even know what to do with them. Luckily, I do. Uh-oh. Let's play a game, spider. As you see, a multitude of specters come out <clears throat> and begin charging you, spider. And that is where we will draw the conclusion for tonight. Dun-dun-dun! Joy. Joy! Jesse, I feel a little hurt. <laughs> Good. Such a dick. God. <laughs> so mean. So All offended. right. Well, uh, we still got a ways to go for this dungeon. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if Very you are fun. listening to the YouTube or, or Twitch thing, uh, we would love to have you on our Discord. Please come by. Uh, and it should be in the description down below. And we will see you next Monday. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night.